Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam Love Squad? So I was messing around yesterday on stream, twitch.tv slash Sam the Dude, by the way. And uh, I realized that Charon is actually really good and a lot of fun. And I figured uh, maybe I should show you guys how I've been playing him to maybe, I don't know, entice you guys to try him out or even just understand when you see other Charons what they are going to attempt to do. <coughs> Excuse me. What they're going to attempt to do to you and how you can save yourself from certain death. So, basically, I'm just having a lot of fun playing Charon, dude. Now, level three, I always go Chronos Pendant and I always go one of each pot and I always go Meditation and I always go uh, Horn Shard. The reason that I always go Horn Shard, sorry, I had to take a breath. My lungs are like, ooh, you know? The reason I go Horn Shard is because cooldowns on this god are crazy his two when you level it up gets two seconds off of it i do use quick casting on these because i'm not quite all the way down with the instant cast just yet but you know eventually i'll switch it to instant um but his cooldowns are really really short once you have max cooldown on and so things like upgraded meditation and horn shard are extremely strong on him like this obviously 40 percent cooldown that's like a that's like a eight second cooldown this is like a six sec uh actually this is like a seven second cooldown that's like a eight second cooldown it's not really long cooldowns especially for a guardian and then on top of that you're adding in the chronos pendant proc i'm gonna build genji's this game you're adding in the genji's proc um and then uh yeah when you add all that stuff together all the procs and then you also add horn shard and upgraded med like your cooldowns are basically non-existent which means you are just slaughtering the competition i'm just throw some autos out poke them a bit i missed that's all right we didn't get any kill there but like jeepers creepers he's very low I don't need to last hit these. I want to save my cooldowns for red buff here. Let's see if he invades this. I assume he will. But it would also be completely possible that he doesn't want to because he might die. And especially if he knows what Charon is capable of, then he's not going to do it. It looks like he did know. Maybe I'm not the first Charon this guy's fought. Stun. Okay. Okay. I mean, so far, you can see it's just smooth sailing. And on top of that, Charon's early game is bad. Like, you really have to focus on his early game when you play him because it's it's not often where you fight a god or you are playing as a god that has, like, such a bad early game that you actually have to focus on maintaining distance while you play it. But... With only a 400 mana pool and the fact that you want to ability spam, you have to go blue buff and you have to go Chronos Pendant early. You can't afford Bancrofts. Bancrofts just doesn't give you enough MP5. Fine. I don't really care about whatever damage I take here. I'm not in danger of dying. I always have all my abilities up. He doesn't even have Chronos Pendant up, so... I'm hard chilling. Get his dash. And then we root him. We pop this. Oh, I missed that too. That's pretty bad. There you go. And you can tell just by that. I even... I completely missed my ult. I completely missed my ult and I still won that fight. I want to get all those Charon's coins, obviously. All right. Um, I have no mana, so I'm just going to back here. This is back. Go Genji's. And yeah, I'm feeling uh, really good about this game. Like, I think Charon is actually a very, very good guardian. And I would argue to say probably the best guardian in duel. Uh, his silence is deafening. I mean, it, it, it eliminates most gods. Just straight up by itself. It just eliminates most gods. 
which is just stupidly overpowered. Um, and then on top of that, I actually don't think I can get these. I'll just get the minis. That's fine. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that was. He tried to get the red, but you can't fight me, brother. Pop. And silence. I'll just get these autos off while he's trying to juke me. And I think, honestly, the reason that I think he is the best god, or best guardian, not best god, but I, the reason I think he's the best guardian in duel is... Well, there's two reasons. The ranged auto attacks, it lets you poke so well that most guardians don't have. Most guardians are melee, right? Um, but on top of that, his ability power, like his scaling is really good. And, and then on top of that, again, all of his CC, right? Like you've got his silence, you've got his root, you've got his fear. And then the main thing, the number one main thing why I think he's so good in duel is this two. I think it's the shield that you get that regenerates over time that is stupidly broken. Nice. The uh, the two right here. You get a shield. I always max my one and then I max my two, by the way. And the reason is because your two actually does increase how much shield you get. And at max rank, your shield is going to cap at 15% of your max health. But you might be thinking, ah, 15% shield isn't that good. But it's not 15%. It's 15% at once. But if you keep hitting him, you keep dealing damage. You know, your one keeps ticking, your autos keep slapping, your three is, is hitting him. All this stuff, right? Um, it's going to regen that shield and basically make an infinite shield that you can just sit there and tank anything. You know, I've fought... I'm 7-0 and right now, or maybe I'm 6-0. and uh, But I've fought Kronoses. I've fought freaking... Uh, souls i fought olerons i fought fucking bastets and when your two is maxed in your late game no god does enough damage to go through that shield and then win the trade like you do enough damage that that shield is all you need to win any trade against any god it also allows you to do dumb shit like that or you can just sprint in the tower because I know I got a shield backing me up when, uh, whenever my ability hits, you know, it takes a full, it takes a full shot for me. Are right, you dash? The reason I altered that is because I want him to back right now and give me his blue. If he doesn't back, then he has to pick between wave and blue in terms of gold. Perfect. Uh, my next item could be one of three things. A Divine Ruin, which I don't need because he has no lifesteal. A Staff of Mirrodin, which would cap my cooldown. Um, and let, allow me to pick up red buffs instead of blues. <clears throat> which norm... Oh, man. <clears throat> Normally, Staff of Mirrodin is actually my go-to here. Or a Polynomicon. Polynomicon is, you know, tried and true. It's a good-ass item. You can't hate it, you know? So, uh, but yeah, normally I'm, I'm definitely a mirrored main here. I'm just going to alt this wave. I don't really care if that hits him or not. It did, but I didn't care about it. Um, you're not going to invade this. It would be so stupid. But yeah. Mirrodin is normally my go-to here because of the fact that you alt in fights like while fighting a lot of the time. So what you want to do is you want to basically kit dump, right? Just press every fucking button you have. And then you're going to press your alt. And then you're going to press your horn shard. Or if you're even more optimized than what I can do, you're going to press your horn shard and then your alt. And then 
after your alt is done casting, you get the Mirrodin buff and all of your cooldowns are up to slaughter him again. So I'm a huge proponent of Mirrodin as third item here. And then normally I'll go Rod Polly. But um, it's kind of the same stuff, right? Like almost every game, it's the same six items, right? Obviously, instead of Genji's, if you're fighting a physical god, you're going to go breastplate and then you're going to stay, uh, switch the Mirrodin out for some other item of your choice. But, uh, if you're fighting a mage, which I fought four out of six games playing this god, or I guess four out of set or five out of seven games at this point, um, <clears throat> then it's even easier for you. You literally just build the exact same way I do and you'll find success. Also, the three does a shit ton of damage, by the way. Ouch. His dash is down. I kill him here. Oh, beads Aegis. All right. Beads and Aegis for that ult. It's fine. One thing I don't like about this god is that your one never fully clears. You almost always have to use multiple abilities, but even still, it's fine. Like, look at that shield. That shield being maxed out lets me take two tower shots and not even give a shit about uh, the repercussions of diving through an entire tower. I actually didn't want to pick up that blue. Oops. Better run. This dude, this is the exact type of shit I'm talking about, man. Like you could just run at them. You're so like you obstruct everything. You want to clear the wave? Nope, you're silenced. Do you want to run away? Nope, you're silenced. Oh, you think you can fight? Nope. I have about probably 30% HP of my or 30% of my max HP is a shield. It doesn't even really matter what your goal is against Charon. It just, it, like, he's just dominant. And I'll show you guys, by the way, I'll show you the stats after the game. So you know I'm not bullshitting. You know, oh, he says he's played seven games and he's 7-0, and oh, but he's probably, you know, fucking 2-5. and five. No, I'll show you after. Just so you can, you can see I'm not a big booty liar I am a big booty though I'll tell you that much hello oh also one thing to note um most people don't understand how to play against Charon so when they get hit by the one they keep walking around and whenever they're walking around they're doing damage to themselves with the tick so There's one thing to note. Do a little damage here. Oh yeah, and th those ticks. Those ticks that I'm getting um, when he's walking around, those are also regenerating my shield. So, yeah, I can sit here. I can take three Phoenix shots. And tussle back and forth with an Agni. Getting bombed left, right, and center. It doesn't matter. Because I'm just sitting here. I'm just sitting here. Able to demolish him. By having practically infinite HP. Dude, that ult does so much damage. 400 damage on an ult as a guardian. And not only that, but it's 400 damage on an alt as a guardian that also fears them towards you to land your other abilities. Crazy. Crazy stuff. Yeah, he surrenders here. I mean, there's just no way you beat him. There's no way you beat him. And then, um, 
if you don't get a kill at the phoenix you have to get poly in this build so my next item would be poly and then uh after that it'd probably just be like a i mean honestly you could go gem of iso you could go soul eater but i would personally just go like poly next item and then divine just in case you know uh but yeah this is basically the build i do every game you can switch out the rod for poly i just bought rod because i had 2850 when i backed so it just it slotted in correctly with the gold and the power spike i wanted so yeah and then uh let me show you guys my history on Charon in duel oops uh just so you know i'm not lying rank duel seven and oh and in those seven games I have 41 kills and three deaths. And I have fought some good gods, dude. All right, well, maybe not Ares. Nuwa actually is a good god now. Poseidon, I went 9-0 and against. Hell, I beat. Another Poseidon. On her, like, I fought some good gods, dude. <laughs> like, I fought two Poseidons, a Hell, and on her, a Nuwa. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's crazy. That god is super good. You guys should try him out for yourself. Make sure you do that build. If you're against a physical god, you're basically just want to skip out on the Mirrodin and go Breastplate and um, get your poly a little bit earlier. Like, if you're go if you're against a physical god, you probably go Kronos Prendent, Breastplate, Poly, Rod, uh, Divine, and then, like, a s maybe, like, um, Ethereal Staff or... Or even, you could even just go Soul Reaver, depending on how much health they have, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. A little walkthrough of, of Charon and why I think he's probably the best Guardian in Duel and how I'm hopefully going to go 10-0 by the end of today with him. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.